does it feel like dollar is uh, close to topping out, Ty? Well, it has been feeling like topping out for the last year. Uh, but I think the reality is there's still two drivers uh, keeping the dollar strength in the near term. First of all, the Fed staying hawkish, even though uh, they did say, look, uh, we, we are going to raise rates by a smaller quantum. But the reality is that policy rates in the U.S. could still be way above the rest of the world and also for bond yields as well. The second point, and more importantly, is the risk aversion. If uh, markets and investors are expecting the U.S. economy to go into a recession sometime in 2023, uh, that risk aversion is likely to keep the dollar well supported. And that, to me, again, is another factor that could push an already very expensive dollar even just a little bit stronger. Uh, to the point of the Fed is going to keep going and tightening until something breaks. We had uh, John Vale from Nico Asset Management earlier on today warning off potentially a financial accident in um, possibly in Europe. Do you share that view, Ty? And in a high rates environment, is something going to break? And what is it going to be? Is it going to be the housing market? Is it going to be uh, 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 financial stability in, in Europe or elsewhere? Well, I think the UK experience in late uh, September, early uh, October has reflected some of the potential challenges. As you rightly pointed out, um, a lot of the financial assets, a lot of the financial plumbing have been geared towards a low interest rate environment for a very long time. And now that we are moving away from that regime, uh, it could put some stress on it. Now, um, we could be discussing the triggers or the transmission mechanism. But I think, again, the experience of the UK back in late September and also going back to 2020 March, uh, when the Fed came to the rescue, when the bond market had a liquidity problem, I think the good news is that central banks are now better equipped uh, to deal with these financial stresses, especially if it comes from liquidity problems in the sovereign bond market or other uh, fixed income market. But obviously, the challenge is to really forecast where will that come from. It could be a policy error. It could be a geopolitical event. It could be extreme weather event that triggered this type of uh, market reaction. But I do feel a little bit more comfortable now that we've seen central banks doing the right thing um, in, in, in the early stage of a financial stress or, or liquidity stress uh, to prevent something a bit bigger coming through.